And why does everybody here say to me, what happens if he gets elected? Well, you can't let that happen, because for us, this is election is Washington crossing the Delaware. A few moments later. You may be thinking now that Trump is a populist. You are right. He didn't accept the 2020 elections, and he should have. So should Hillary in 2016, so should Brussels, and so should Westminster in 2016, and so too should Congresswoman Pelosi, instead of saying the 2016 election was, quote, hijacked. Quote, hijacked. (laughs) Thank you. Yes, recently something happened. Nancy Pelosi was rebuked. I don't know if you have seen this video. Very interesting. But the fact is that using ethno, whether it's people different from me, nationalism, populism, is a very dangerous threat to democracy, not just in America where we're seeing it play out, but in the whole world in the context of a fight between democracy and autocracy, our, our, not our, not mine, but the version of populism, ethno-nationalist populism, which tries to bring down education and fake news, the, the media, which is a protector of democracy, that version is contributing in countries other than our country, and is a danger to democracy. We think democracy is on the ballot in America. It's a a victory that we must win, because it will only make matters worse if they have another stay at at what they're doing to the courts in our country, the, the fear that they're instilling in jurists in our country, the suppression of the vote in our country, the role of their big, dark, rich, billionaire donors who don't want to pay taxes, suffocating the airways from the fossil fuel industry and the gun industry and the rest of that. So money and, and populism, sadly, have gone together with this ethno-nationalist, anti, what they call elite, which we call education, free press, and the rest. So I urge you to think in terms of the word. It says it's a threat. You're going to deny that it's a threat to democracy in the versions that have emerged, that have emerged in America so clearly? And why does everybody here say to me, what happens if he gets elected? Well, you can't let that happen because for us, this election is Washington crossing the... Yes, I don't want to say this. Nancy Pelosi is a perfect example why Congress need term limit. We clearly understand that, which I know it would never happen. When you take a look at this tweet, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was rebuked as an early during a recent Oxford Union debate where she argued that populism in the United States is a threat to democracy, challenging police's positions in the debate about populism, Western Masha, a musician. You can see exactly how Democrats are doing it. Everything now, oh, this is a threat to democracy. Donald Trump is a de- threat to democracy. And I don't get it. It started during the January 6th issue, and they now decided to use this as a, you know, a, as a political point throughout during this election period, and I was impressed. Given the success of Trump, and more recently, Javier Malay taking a chainsaw to the state behemoth, of Argentine, Argentina's bureaucratic uh, em- uh, monster, you'd be mistaken for thinking this was a right-wing populist age. But that would be ignoring Occupy Wall Street. That would be ignoring Jeremy Corbyn's for the many, not the few. That would be ignoring Bernie against the billionaires, JFK, sorry, RFK Jr. against Big Pharma, and more recently, George Galloway against his better judgment. (laughs) Now, all of them, all of them, including Galloway, recognize genuine concerns of ordinary people being otherwise ignored by the establishment. I'm actually rather surprised that our esteemed opposition, Congressman Pelosi, is on that side of the motion. I thought the left was supposed to be anti-elite. I thought the left was supposed to be 
anti-establishment. Today, particularly in America. Yes, for people who don't know this guy, during the pandemic period, this guy did something that was amazing. According to this reply, he's a former Montfort and Sons band member who instead of caving to the work mob and self-censoring during the pandemic, opted to leave the band and pursue polity to speak louder. So you can clearly see he is actually practicing what he wanted. You'd be mistaken for thinking this was a right-wing populist age. But that would be ignoring Occupy Wall Street. That would be ignoring Jeremy Corbyn's for the many, not the few. That would be ignoring Bernie against the billionaires, JFK, sorry, RFK Jr. against Big Pharma, and more recently, George Galloway against his better judgment. (laughs) Now, all of them, all of them, including Galloway, recognize genuine concerns of ordinary people being otherwise ignored by the establishment. I'm actually rather surprised that our esteemed opposition congressman Pelosi is on that side of the motion. I thought the left was supposed to be anti-elite. I thought the left was supposed to be anti-establishment. Today, particularly in America, the globalist left have become the establishment. Nancy Pelosi is shocked. I don't even understand why they are clapping for her because I have not gotten a point that can actually lead me to clap. So I don't get the point. What they're trying to do, like someone said, I don't even put too much interest into this because these people actually hate Trump. That is according to a reply I saw on this video. I saw this and I thought it is important. I show you this video. My friend wrote, I just don't see the roasting. They literally clap for her and they still hate Trump. I respect none of this nonsense, none of it. So people still don't get it. Spot on. We have for a long time been without politicians who do and want to want to represent the people. It is about time that the current systems are turned down and reintroduced with entirely new requirements and legislations. These are people furious after this debate. But sometimes it is important, you know, to get these stories from both sides to actually know how they think. This was actually beautiful, right? Thank you guys for always being there sharing out my videos. If you know this, for the past few days, I was not able to put out videos like I do before. I had a tree, so I took up about four days, you know, to rest. It was tedious, though I'm trying to balance up, you know, to be dropping videos like I do before on daily basis. And I pray for good heart and please never stop to share out my videos. That is the only way people got to see some of the clips I put out.